In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a seedling test. Now, this is a very useful test for evaluating different types of soil and compost and additives that you might want to use in your soil. For example, let's say you made some compost. Now, if that compost is too fresh, it will kill seedlings. You have to wait until it matures enough so the nutrient levels drop so it's safe for seedlings. But you can't tell that just by looking at your compost. The best way to test that compost to see if it's ready for use is to do a seedling test. You might have gone out and bought yourself some new potting media and you want to test that to see if it's okay. Seedling test does that too. There have been a number of cases of bad compost, both in the U.S. and in Europe, that actually killed seedlings. And the reason was that that compost contained a specific type of herbicide. Now, where did that come from? Well, that herbicide was used in the fields to produce the feed crop for the animals. Then the animals ate it, created manure, but that process doesn't get rid of the herbicide. This is a very strong herbicide and plants are very sensitive to it. Now, it's nothing like Roundup, and most of the other common herbicides are fine too, but this is a very specific one. And it ends up in the manure and it survives the composting process. So the resulting compost now has a herbicide in it that harms your seedlings. So if you've bought some compost in a bag, how do you know that it's good? Well, test it with a seedling test. This is a very simple test and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. And I'll go through the process start to finish. Now before I show you how to do this test, there's a concept that's really important in scientific studies, and it's also important in this test. Whenever you're testing something, always use a control. So I have two pots here. This pot here contains my normal potting mix, and I use ProMix. I've used this for years. I know how things grow in here. I know what to expect in here. This one here is my test pot. I've taken the ProMix, and I've added in some compost. Now, in this case, it's compost from an electronic composter that I've been testing. And I want to see how that affects the seedlings. The manufacturer claims that that composter makes good compost. In fact, they call it fertilizer, ready to be given to your plants. And I don't think that's true. I suspect this compost is just dried kitchen scraps. And I don't think it's going to be good for seedlings. So I want to test it. So I've mixed the soil and the compost together and I've labeled it so I know which one is which. But whenever you do these kinds of tests, and in fact, whenever you evaluate anything in the garden, always have a control. Without the control, you don't know what these results mean. For the test, you can use any kind of seed. I like using pea seeds because I have them readily available and they also grow fairly quickly and they're large enough to handle so these are good seed i know they're going to germinate quickly i've soaked them in water for about 48 hours and they're good and plump and i can start seeing the little roots starting on the side of the seed so now when i pick these up i know that this seed is viable and i can see the roots starting here so i want to put six seeds in here six seeds in here So now I have them planted, I'll water them in, and I'll put them under my grow light. I'll bring you back in a few days and show you what the results look like. This soil here is 100% Pro Mix. This is my standard potting mix. This is my control. This pot here had soil mixed with some of the material produced by the electronic composters with they call fertilizer or compost. And I wanted to see if this grows better plants than this. So here we have plants that are this tall. They're growing quite well. This one's a little droopy here. 
but they're getting so tall they need to start clinging to each other to stay upright. In this pot we have very short plants. When I'm evaluating the results, the first thing I do is count the number of germinated seedlings. What I have is only four seeds. Now I suspect I overwatered this a little bit and it got too wet. And peas will rot if they get too wet. In this pot, I only have three that germinated. So the germination is a little better here than here, but it's not significantly different. The other thing I look at is growth. And you can see these plants are doing really well. These plants, which were seeded at exactly the same time, are tiny little things. In fact, this one has just germinated a couple of days ago. So it's clear to me that these seedlings are not growing as well as these. The critical thing here is always have a control. This is my control, and it's media that I know works. And then have an experimental pot and compare this one to this one. So my conclusion from this experiment is that adding the material from the electronic composter does not improve my seedling growth, so I wouldn't do it. I'm going to stick to this method until I find something better. The seedling test is a great way to test the soil you're using and any changes you think of doing. If you want to try a new soil, or you want to use different amendments in that soil, or perhaps you want to grow them under different light conditions or different temperature conditions. You can use the seedling test for a wide range of different tests. The trick is always do a control in the condition that you know works and then do another one in a different environment. The test can even be used for testing different types of seeds. So in this test, I could have used the same potting soil in both pots, but tried different types of seeds maybe seeds from different seed catalogs. Or perhaps you're buying some seeds and you collected some seeds and you want to check the variability of those seeds. The seedling test is very useful and can be used to test out a lot of things. If you're interested in growing things from seed, you'll enjoy my playlist of seed starting videos. And I'll put a link to those in the top right hand corner. I hope all your seeds sprout 100%.